Good evening, everybody. 6 p.m. Central Standard Time on YouTube or Facebook around Tradeway means you know what it means. That's why you're here. It is time for Market Monday. Market Monday is a time where we get to come together and look at the market. But specifically, specifically today, I'm going to show you something. We've been doing this show now for just over a year. Okay, and you'll hear me if I if you're with me on these broadcasts regularly, I'm often going to say something like this. If you've been watching, you'll know we covered. If you don't know what I was just talking about, there's an episode where we can go back and you can look at, right? You'll hear me say these things a lot because we've done a lot of shows. We've done a lot of shows. So we've covered a lot of ground and what I want to do tonight is kind of dive back into some of what we've covered and bring it together. We're just going to tie it together, okay? This is entitled the best best, right? Best stock trading strategy for beginners. So this is a big episode, you guys. We're going to go over an actual strategy. How many know that you never want to trade in the stock market without some kind of a strategy? And let me just say this, right? This is something I wish I'd heard before. Uh, guessing is not a strategy. <laughs> Pulling up my phone and saying, "Hey, what, what's what's uh, what are they talking about on Wall Street bets?" That's not a strategy. Okay, picking a company because I, it's a good. I like it. I just like that company. Now that could theoretically be a long-term buy and hold strategy, or at least that could be the start of a long-term buy and hold strategy, but. That's not a strategy for trading. And even then, as I mentioned, I would say that's even just a start of a strategy if you're thinking long term. Hey, that's a good company. Maybe I ought to look into that for the long term. We're looking at the short term. This is trade way. We're showing the, you the way to trade. We're not looking at long term buy and hold investing. We're looking at trading. Now, Tradeway does have a division that does long term. But most of what we do and all of what we do here on Market Monday is short-term trading. So for those of you out there, this is going to be a good episode because we're going to look at a specific strategy. Also, before I get into that, I want to go ahead and just look at the market. Okay, this is Market Monday. We get to cover a whole bunch of different topics and things like that on here. I love being able to do that. I love spending the time with you guys going over these concepts. But, you know, we ought to just stop once in a while and go over and look at the market. What is the market doing? So we're going to do that first before we get into our stock trading strategy. We're going to look at the market today. And like I said, it's Market Monday, so that makes a lot of sense. We ought to just go over there. I'm going to give you some of my insights on the market. You'll see some of the lines I've had on the market. And then what happened today? If any of you guys were watching it today, uh, then you know it was a big day. It was a big day. So we're going to look at that. As I always say, if you guys are joining us by the recording or live here on Facebook or YouTube, we are so happy to have you on here every single week. I know that many of our people join us afterwards. You may be at work or whatever the case might be. Hey, if you know somebody else who may want to see this episode, go ahead, watching on recording or you're with us live right now, go ahead and tag their name. That'll send this video on over to them. Make sure as many people get this information as possible. Today's a great day to send it on over to somebody who maybe doesn't know anything about trading, right? Has never done anything like this before because we're going to dive into a little bit of that. That said, last thing, I can see your comment there. Mario, if you're with us live, you can go ahead and you can drop a comment into the comment box on your screen, whether you're YouTube live or you're joining us on Facebook, you can say hello. I'm saying hi back to you, Mario. Thank you for being on here once again. I also love to hear from you guys using or, uh, using those, those functions on whichever platform you're on to ask questions, okay? Ask questions. We go highly encouraged, certainly invited. There are no dumb questions to me, and uh, I highly encourage you guys to send those in. Mario's just adding a comment here. Using, this is Mario's comment, using Tradeway Strategies, bought stocks on Thursday. I'm going to assume Thursday of last week. Thursday, 
sold today on a high wick. Some of you know what that means, a high wick, and made $4.40. And I'm going to assume, Mario, you're saying $4.40 a share. So Mario sending that in, letting us know what he was able to do. All right. Now, I wasn't specifically a part of that trade. I didn't say, Mario, you have to go do this. You have to go. This is just something he decided to share with us, letting us know, hey, you know, we're not just talking numbers and screens. And, you know, sometimes people I've talked to, they say, you know, stock trading, it's a little bit like a, it's like a video game for adults. And there's some truth to that. I'm not going to spend a bunch of time on this, but there's, there's some truth to that. But really, really, it's not, right? It's not. These are real, these are real dollars and cents, right? These, this is real potential. We can really use these skill sets. There is a lot of potential in what I'm talking to you guys about week to week. So thank you so much for sharing that, Mario. Hey, we're always glad to celebrate with you when you are in that position. And sold on a high wick, you know, that takes some precision, right? That's the high of the day. Who doesn't want to get out of a trade at the high of the day? So good on you for that. Laura, I see you there as well. Happy Monday to you. Post Easter, everybody. Howdy, howdy, says Jeffrey. Sorry I'm late. It's okay. 75 outside. Getting warmer out there in Colorado. My computer was frozen like a Disney movie. But I got drums over there, but I'll just do it that way today, Jeffrey. Thanks for being on here again, man. Everybody's saying hi. If you're out there and you've joined us, you can go ahead and drop a comment in there. Today, we're going to look at two things. I said this already. For those of you who just joined us, we're going to look at the market. It's Market Monday. Let's get into the market. We haven't done that in a little while. We're going to do a longer episode on this later in the spring, but... I'm going to just at least peek at it today because, like I said, we haven't done that in a while. And number two, the best short-term trading strategy. Short-term. And I'm going to show you why I think it's important that we say short-term and how that can benefit you potentially as you use this strategy. So let me go ahead and share my screen as I do and show you what happened today. Sometimes I wish there was just a little bit of music playing in the background as I'm sharing. It's like radio silence. And I, uh, I'd rather have a little bit of music in the background. All righty, everybody can see. Everybody can see the screen. Now we've looked at this before. For those of you who've been around for a little while, this is not the first time we've looked at the market. It's just been a little while. So, <laughs> Jeffrey. Okay. Okay, Jeffrey. I'll just have to let it go. Listen, if you have kids, if you have nieces and nephews, if you have grandkids, uh, it's not hard for you to see the frozen joke there. Uh, I'll just leave it at that, Jeffrey. I'll just leave it at that. So back to the market. If you've been with us, you've seen this. It's just been a little while since we've come back here. So I wanted to come back here and take a look. A couple of things. I'm going to move a little bit quick tonight. I just want to give you an update on this, okay? Let me let me just, just make this really clear. And, and, and there's some people on tonight I know that are in the program, and so you've heard me say this, and, and I think this is important. I haven't said this on a market Monday yet, okay? So you're going to get this tonight. Um. We don't want to get so caught up in the market day to day, right? For some of you out there, you're, you're, you're pretty juiced on the market. You're, you're interested in this. You maybe are following it in the news or you've got your stocks app on your phone, maybe CNBC. You're following along or you'd like to follow along. And there is day to day news. Really two things. What are the topics that are kind of buzzing around the market? And then what did the price do today, right? That's really what all the news around the market is going to be. That's what the info around the day today is going to be. And that is kind of what we get caught up in, right? It's Thursday. Oh, the market went up 30 points today. Oh, it's, it's Tuesday. Huh? It went down 12 points, right? That's important information for us at Tradeway on a day-to-day -day basis. But what's my point in terms of the chart we're looking at here? Well, I want you to understand that one of the things we've talked about extensively on this program 
is that we're really always looking for patterns. And patterns make sense of all the pieces. It's like a blueprint for a house, okay? You can, I'm in a building right now. You can see the brick behind me, right? I'm a little more zoomed in today than normal, but you can see the brick behind me, right? The day to day is a brick in the wall, but over time, right? We get a whole wall, we get a whole building, we get a foundation, we get the whole thing. And if we're only fixated on certain bricks, we get lost. We get lost. We don't know what to do to take action that actually can benefit us. So how do we take a step back and get a blueprint? Well, for us at Tradeway, in trading, it's a pattern, okay? Now, I've said that part on here before, but looking at the market right now, I don't want us to get caught up in the fact that the market's doing this and then that. Maybe it's up one day, it's down another day, and miss that we've just been in this solid pattern now since early beginning of November almost, okay? We've been in a pattern. Now, the big thing about this pattern I want you to notice tonight, if I can find my drawing tool, it's way down here. You know, look at all this info. I'm, I'm going to draw a bunch of boxes here. Boom, boom. I'm not going to try to be pretty. I'm just going to draw these guys on here. Okay. Some of these have multiple touches, but that's how many times this pattern, now I'll, this pattern, I'll say this, this pattern came back, hit this line and moved up, okay? And we do have this here. I was going to comment on that, right? We went below it. We closed below it in one day. That was squirrely for sure. And we were actually in a squirrel market at that point. Uh, and then the next day we closed back in and up we went. And we hit the same line, we came back down, and we hit the same line, and we went up, and we stopped yesterday at that line. Well, today, we've blasted through that line, okay? So the market is two things. Now, I've talked about this, and I'm going to end this section with this uh, information here. I think this is really good stuff for you guys, though. The market is now hot enough where it has broken outside of resistance. Okay, it's outside of resistance. So we have to start rethinking some things. We have to start looking at what are some of the other options. Okay, I'm going to start drawing some other lines in the day, upcoming days. And I'll wait and see what the market confirms. See, there's an example of what I might try to do. But we're outside of that pattern, which tells me two things. One, the market is very hot. Now, that's going to draw a lot of people into the market. They're going to go, ooh, let's get in. But also keep in mind, see if I can find this quickly. Bear with me one sec. Let's get rid of this guy so you guys can see a little easier. Bear in mind, look at that. That's the movement. That's pretty far, okay? That's 38.57 to 40, 4,080, okay? So it's moved up quite a bit from that last pivot. That's a huge move. Now we've had Tradeway students doing different kinds of things in that time frame. We actually just heard from one individual earlier, but it's extended is what we call it. So I would say, yes, it's hot, but we also teach our students how to be cautious with their investments, right? With their trading positions at this level, because it is hot, but it's also extended. And the more extended we get from recent pivots, it, it tends to act like gravity. Now, we don't know exactly when gravity will win over, but it gets more likely the further it goes. So the more risk you have to take trying to catch that late stage move. Okay, so that's a really important part. There's some pieces there that obviously I'm I'm showing you, we need to go into some more detail on how to specifically manage that. But I think it's important that we know that as things get extended, we are extending the level of risk that we're taking in that as well. I'm sorry, I think I left Jeffrey's comment up there. 
Uh, Mario says, maybe you can pre-record some of your music to play on background. I probably, I don't know how that works on this platform we're on right now. This is StreamYard. Um, I know I can do it on Zoom. Maybe, maybe, maybe that's what I'll do on Thursday. I will try and we will start, I was going to say with a song and dance. We're definitely not starting with a song and dance. You don't want to see that and that's not why you're here, but I'll try and get some music on there. Charlie Brown. I love it, man. Charlie Brown. Blair, you rock, brother. I wish I could have your expertise, man. Let me say this right now. Because I'm really glad you said that, okay? I'm glad you said that. Because, and I'm not saying this to be uh, deflective or, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, you guys? Um, uh, just sort of the token thing to say, I suppose. Uh, but, I was telling some folks, Tradeway is running a four-day trading boot camp, okay? Today, tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday, all day. I got a big board right in front of me with all the different sessions we're going to be doing. Uh, and it's really just that. It's a boot camp to take uh, our students through our program, right? It's an intensive to give them four days of exposure. What did I say today, today in our introductory section, okay? Very first section of the whole week boot camp, I said to everybody, and, and if you guys have been following me on Wisdom Wednesdays that we used to do, or even the Stock Talk Thursdays, you've heard me talk about mentors, okay? Mentors is one of my top seven keys to breakthrough. I do a course on the keys to breakthrough, okay? These are keys you can apply to any area of your life, any area of your life for momentum, strength, power, for breakthrough. One of them is mentorship. You say, what does this have to do with Charlie's comment? Mentorship, mentorship. I've I've hired personally, okay? Those of you who've been following know that I, I came back to Texas this, this year. Since I've been back, I've hired four coaches in four different distinct areas of my life that I desire greater breakthrough, okay? Greater growth. Why? because they're, they are the ones who are where I want to be. And, and I have a certain amount of energy and I have a certain amount of ingenuity and I have a certain amount of talent and gifts that God has given me, but they're good at what they do. They just know what I don't know. So I want to partner with them and ask them to partner with me to give me that X factor. So why do I say that? Well, maybe it's clear. Charlie says, he says, you rock. I wish I could have your expertise. And the answer is, you can, <laughs> you can have my expertise because I learned it from somebody else. I came into a room. I told the boot camp folks in February, 2015 in Philadelphia, it was absolutely biting, freezing cold. I remember the hallways. I remember the instructors. I remember the room and I knew absolutely nothing about stock trading. Absolutely nothing. And when I looked at Boyce McLeod at the front of the, of the room, teaching and talking about some of what we're actually going to talk about today, I didn't necessarily say, Charlie, ah, man, I wish I could have his expertise. I probably thought, man, I wish I could have the breakthroughs he has. That's what I thought, right? And I ultimately have just been learning, 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 learning from those guys. And that is how I've come into the skill set that I've come into, right? So I want to encourage you and everybody else out there, hey, taking the, I, I want to honor the fact that you're taking this time. Now, I would say you're worth the investment, right? It's probably strange. I'm not going to get too much of a rabbit trail. We're going to get into this next part, but this is not lesser. This is as important. Okay. If you'll hear this, I believe it will bless you. We're not usually likely to say something as Christians like this. I am my best investment. The best investment is in me. Now I have to clarify that. Okay. Somebody's already uncomfortable that I said that. <laughs> Let me clarify, but I actually believe there's a lot of truth to that. In fact, I'm just going to say it plain. It's either true or it's not. I believe it is true. I believe it is true. Investing in yourself, investing in your breakthrough, a lot of the times we don't do the things we are called to do, the things we want to do, the things we could do as well as we could do them, as efficiently, whatever the case might be. 
This is true of all of us. Because what we really need is an investment in us, right? If we want to change something, then we need to be changed. And even thinking about being the leader of a business, of a family, right? Blessing flows down. Now, this is not the only side of the coin, obviously, but blessing flows down through the father into the family, right? When when dad, obviously, who makes many sacrifices, now mom does too, I'm not, I'm just going with this right now, makes many sacrifices, there is, I plan, I did not plan to go on to, the, to this today, I promise you, but, th- but I think this is really important because, because a lot of people out there are, are maybe wondering the same thing, hey, I wish I could do that, listen, I want to encourage you, right, let's keep going with that picture for a second. If dad becomes clearer, if he becomes more focused, if he has more resources, if he has more peace, maybe some of us out there, he has more healing. He has more connection with the Holy Spirit. He has more, you you name it. Listen, whatever it is, you get to define it. I don't define it for you, but investment in yourself that has an intention to never be like the Dead Sea where things flow in and they never flow out, right? When they flow in, then I can cause them to flow out. But if they're not flowing in, guess what? I'm just empty. I don't want to be empty. I want all the ministry and love of my life to be a product of overflow, not because I'm selfish, but because I want to live in a place where people get the best that I can possibly give them at all times. And I can't do that when I'm empty. Okay. Somebody, I'm just going to believe somebody needed to hear that today because I really feel like that's an important thing to say. If it comes to finances, right? A lot of us, I was just talking to a friend about taxes, taxes. We're going to look at Nike in just a second here. Okay. This is a good segue. I was talking to a friend about taxes. Well, if you guys have been watching the news on Nike, I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to pull, pull up the chart. Okay. Uh, let me go ahead and close that. I'm going to have to reshare to show you that screen. So we were talking about Nike. If you've been following the news on it, then you'll know Nike and some other companies have been in a little bit of, I would say, maybe hot water in the news Because why? Well, because they haven't paid taxes in three years. Now, that doesn't mean they haven't filed taxes. They have not paid any tax, right? No tax. Now, I'm not going to go into all of that tonight, but ultimately, they were able to use the tax system in a way that meant that their taxable income was zero, okay? And they never ended up paying any tax. Now, I'm not going to make a comment on that. They make a lot of money. They make a lot of money. And I'm sure we've got a lot of opinions on whether or not they should be forced to pay more tax than that. Ultimately, they found ways to use the tax system to lower that taxable income. That's not so much my point as it is. When I was in this conversation with a friend of mine, it unearthed the fact that many of us just have zero idea how corporate versus personal tax works. And the wealthy understand how to use corporate tax, not for tax evasion. I want to be very, very clear about that. Not for tax fraud. We're not talking about illegal activity here. Okay. We're talking about legal minimum. I say legal minimum sometimes and people squirm and that only confirms to me how little we all seem to just generally speaking, right? know about the tax code. And that's absolutely true of me. Remember I said February, 2015, zero, zero, but I've learned a lot since then. So what am I saying? I'm saying we've got to invest in ourselves. We got to invest in ourselves. We can't do what we can't do, but we can do what we can do. And we ought to do as much as we can do. Myron Golden told me two weeks ago, Blair, You ought to learn as much as you can about money as fast as you can. It's a good servant. It's a bad master. So 
before I get preaching a little bit tonight, I want to say, if you want to make the investment in yourself, that's what we're here to help you do. You can have these skill sets. And I have an obligation to say that because I came from a room where I knew nothing, right? That's the third time I've said that now. So it's no longer legal for us to have a conversation where I don't say, you can be where I'm at if I can be where I'm at, right? We all have different skills, okay? We all have different lives, but if I can learn it, you can learn it. And I think it's really important to say that investing in yourself can be the most important investment you make in others. So, aha, Mario says, amen, one of God's strategies, father to family. I agree. I agree. And of course, mom's in there too. I paid for an IT tech education, says Troy. I invested, my, for my, I invested for myself to better the future. I'm still investing in myself. This will never end as long as I live. I love that. Never has to stop, right? What's the issue? Well, the issue is that we become self-focused, self-involved, right? It says that selfish ambition, right? The scripture talks about selfish ambition. Okay, this is way off my notes, <laughs> but that's where we don't want to go, right? Ambition in the kingdom. I'm going to be ambitious for the king. I am ambitious for the king. I've been ambitious for the king since, for 15 years now when he pulled me out of complete darkness. So let's be ambitious for the king. We just don't need to be selfishly ambitious. All right. Now you're saying, all right, all right, let's get ambitious about Nike and how to, how to trade this stock because we're looking at the best short-term strategy for new traders. I said we'd look at Nike. Well, let's go ahead and do this. So what's there's a couple of things if we look at this that are just really important to pull together. Remember I said at the top of the broadcast, there's just some things we've covered, but I want to pull them together here and just show you and remind you, hey, this is actually a strategy. Okay, this is a strategy. People use this strategy. So it comes in a few pieces. Let's walk through those pieces. The first part of it is you've got to know some patterns. Okay, we get to look at this beautiful stock chart here. I talked last week about how to get the resources together that you need, not in dollars, but the different tools that will help you. And this is one of them. Okay, you don't have to use this one I'm showing you right here, but you need some charting uh, function, right? Something that's going to chart. So we get to look at this chart here. First thing we need, we need to find the pattern. Okay, now what pattern on the chart is most important? Because there are multiple patterns on this chart. By the way, not all price is always in a pattern. If I look at a chart and I see a pattern, that's good. If I don't see a pattern, that's as useful of information to me. You say, how could that be as useful? Can you trade when it's not a pattern? No, I don't trade when it's not a pattern, but it tells me don't trade that chart. And that's a very helpful piece of information because a lot of other people are going to trade that chart anyway with no criteria on how to navigate the decisions they're going to make other than emotions and news. And that's not what we want to do. So the first thing is find a pattern. Well, there's multiple, as I said, patterns on this chart. What's the most important? Well, maybe you guessed it already. The most important is going to be the one that's closest to the right side of the chart. Why? Because that's current day. That's where we have to trade. I wish I could trade back here. <laughs> if I could go and buy this day tomorrow, I would. But we can't do that, can we? We've got to trade this side of the chart. So, the right side of the chart is the most important. So I'm going to look for patterns over there. I see a pattern in multiple spots here, longer term and some shorter term patterns. But what do I really want to get at? Well, some of you have already seen it. It's this guy right in here. Okay. And it's just practice and time. I like to look for really clean patterns so they're not hard to identify. This still takes a little bit of practice and time to see patterns pretty quickly. And by the way, if you don't see a pattern that someone else sees, then you just don't trade it. You just don't trade it. So what I'm always looking for is two things. Remember I said find a pattern. So let me add this for you. 
When I go to the charts, I'm looking for, now this is really what we call highs and lows, but I like to say peaks and valleys when we're in discussion. Because peaks and valleys is something that I think is really just easy for a lot of folks to grab onto. You can kind of see the mountain range here, can't you, right? We've got peaks and we've got valleys. Now, what I immediately notice, now in my mind, I put these on there. I'm going to go ahead and just drop them in there for you now. But in my mind, I already see those, right? Why did I see those lines already even before I put the lines in? You say, well, Blair, you've practiced. That's true. That, that is true. But it's because the peaks and valleys seem to be at the same spot, right? Sounds like an obvious statement. I think it is an, it, it's an obvious thing when we know to look for it, okay? I want to make sure I'm not missing... Yes, I see your, your question there, Jeffrey, and I'm gonna I'm gonna answer that. I wanna I wanna get to that. I just don't want to jump ahead. It's a good question. Um, notice that there's a place uh, you can see my cursor there. It's hundred and thirty dollars and fifty cents is where I have my line right now. Okay, not that blue dotted line, but the white dotted line there. Well, every time the price gets into that area, since mid-January, okay, it turns and it moves up. Well, that's kind of helpful if you think about it. If I could recognize a line on the chart and it turns and moves up at that line, I wonder if it'll do that again. Okay, well, let's just go ahead and throw it on there. Now, I also see on the top, it tends to, when it hits this certain price point, it seems to not want to go any higher. It seems to fall down, and that's at about $147, give or take a little bit of change. So why don't I go ahead and do the same thing? $147 and a little bit of change, and I'll go ahead and drop that line on there as well. Now, as soon as I do that, something kind of pops off the screen, doesn't it? You go, well, wait a second. This thing's just going back and forth, right? It's just going back and forth. Now, some of you guys have seen this. I know some of you guys have seen this, but some of you guys have not seen this. And some of you guys maybe needed some review on this, right? Just getting back to the simple, right? It's like in stock trading, we learn how simple it is. Then we learn some pieces that complicate it so that we can have the perspective of the more advanced pieces, but then we got to get it back to the simple. Trust me, ask any coach at Tradeway if they've been through that process. It was simple, but then I had to learn a couple of the complicated pieces. That was part of my training, but then I had to learn to put that back in the simple. I, it's just part of the process, okay? Here, we're getting back to the simple. This is back to the simple. Oh, we got peaks and valleys that are moving between two lines. Now, you say, Blair, there's no guarantee that it's going to keep using those lines. No, there is no guarantee. There's no guarantee. But do you think this is, has the potential to raise your probabilities, number one, in the trade, if you were to, to use this approach? And two, we're not going to go into this today, but I would say this approach gives you all the information you need. This is what we teach you how to do. We're going to do this extensively in the boot camp this week. How do I set up a trade plan around these two lines or a pattern? There are other kinds of patterns. We're looking at one example here, right? They're not all this pattern. This is one example. This is the clearest, easiest strategy for new traders. Okay. This is just the intro, but this is good. This is, this is the meat of it, right? This is how this works. Okay. Now, Jeffrey asked a question. I want to just follow up on that thought for a second. I say, this is how this works. You say, well, what do you mean? This is how what works. This is how beginning to find an edge in the market works. Remember, we don't want to look for price action Price action everywhere, every day. Charts are moving. That's price action. Price movement. We're not buying because there's price movement. We want to buy when there's price edge, right? I've said this before. You go into a casino and you gamble. 
It's random. Now, certain games have different probabilities, but overall, it's random, okay, depending on the game. So let's play. Let's say you're playing cards, some kind of card game, okay, and you know how to count cards, and you've heard me say this on here before. If the casino realizes that you know how to count cards, then what are they realizing about you? They're realizing that you know how to get an edge in the game, and they don't like that. They're going to kick you out of the casino. You can't play anymore because they don't want you to have the edge. They know that they have the edge. Over time, they are always going to win. And if we ever tilt that in our own advantage, then they're going to tilt us out the door, right? We have a system when we can count cards to change the probabilities of the game. Now, if you're playing and you notice, ooh, this hand has very low probabilities. Let's say it's poker, right? And I'm not even, I'm not even, I barely even know how to play poker, okay? But you're in the hand and the probabilities don't look good. Why? Because you have a skill set. You're using the skill set and you go, this opportunity is not as good as other opportunities. I'm going to fold. I'm out. I'm not going to risk here. This is not a good time to risk. Is that hand guaranteed to lose? No. But when it has low probabilities, you say, I'm staying out. When it has very high probabilities, which your skill set would allow you to do, think the movie Rain Man, right? For those of you who've seen that movie, you would go all in or you would go in heavier, right? Because you know the probabilities are higher. You work those out over time. That is a picture of what we do with trading. That's why I say trading is never guessing, gambling, or going for it, right? It's never gambling. We're never guessing. We're never gambling. We're never going for it. Why? Because we use a strategy to get an edge. We use a strategy to get an edge. And knowing how to identify price levels, which is what these gold lines are, and patterns, and then know how to set up a plan around that, that is when we're really starting to talk about being traders. Okay? That is what we want to do. Now, I did want to address Jeffrey's question really quick because he said, well, what about that? Now, I'm, there's an earnings report. I'm not going to, Jeffrey, for the sake of time, I'm not going to go into earnings so much, but let's just look at that candlestick. Whoa, it was up here and it gapped down, meaning it opened the next day below my gold line. You say, Blair, that's risky. Well, it is and it isn't. Now, it did drop. I would not buy it that day inside that uh, purple box. According to Tradeway rules, I would not buy that stock that day, okay? The next day, what does it do? It gaps again, except now it doesn't gap down. Let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit. Right here, right? Where my hand is there. It gaps up this time back into the range. Hmm, interesting. So now we're back into the pattern. And this day, this, or I should say this day, it never came down to this line. We would teach you specifically how to enter and not to enter a stock. And if you did it the way we teach you, you would never be in that day, right? You would never have been in that day. And that's basic, basic, not a complicated approach, just our basic rules on how to use these patterns for buying the stock. You would not have been in that day according to those rules, so that's pretty cool, okay? Vegas wasn't built on winners. <laughs> that's for sure. That is for sure, okay? So hopefully that answers your question there. Uh, some other comments coming in, you guys. Yes, you, you're, you're a little further down the road. You can see some other things. You know, here's the interesting thing about learning, right? When you look at this chart, we've got different people on this broadcast. They see different things on the chart. We're all looking at the same chart. All the information that's available to a person is available on that chart right now. What's the difference? Well, we just haven't been trained what to look for. We haven't been trained on how to understand what it is that we see. So I want to invite you guys. We've talked about, uh, I'm going to stop my screen share here. We've talked about getting the skill set, okay? And we've talked about one of the strategies, okay? One of the basic strategies that as Charlie commented, I wish I had your expertise. You can have that expertise. 
You can have that expertise, but you might have to spend some time around the people who are at the place you want to go. So I popped a link in there for you guys on YouTube and Facebook. This is our step one live event. Okay. Less talk about an investment in yourself, in your family, less than a hundred bucks. Join the event. It's a two day event. You click that link. You'll see the dates of the upcoming step ones. We're going to do it online. You're also going to get instant access. I shouldn't say instant the following. Uh, well, it is Monday. So Tuesday, Wednesday, if you purchase this tonight, everybody in our office will give you access to the step one recording. So not only will you get access to that live event, you're also going to get that recording. So you don't have to wait. You could get started right away. This is the baseline. I'm telling you guys, if you are interested in learning to trade stocks, okay? And I'm not, I know everybody has different situations, okay? But if you're interested in trading stocks, this is the absolute bare minimum course, okay? At some point, you're just going to have to learn what the skill set is. This is the best opportunity to do this, okay? If this course is something that you are, let me back up. If you are wanting to learn to stock trade, this, this is the course you need to get into, okay? So that's the step one. I popped the link in there. And I will definitely, yeah, Troy says, I've, I've been here with for one year. And Troy has learned a lot in a single year right? That's the whole idea. We're going to immerse you in this so that you can advance in an accelerated way. I don't like learning slow. People who know me, patience, it's not one of my strong suits. It's actually something in my character I'm working on this year because I like to move fast. I like to grow fast. I like to learn fast. And one of the best ways to do that is to immerse yourself in a community that is at the place you want to go. Step one is the best way to start doing that. So that link is in there. With that said, hey guys, we're always usually 40, 45 minutes. We're going to be back tomorrow with Trading Tip Tuesday. We're going to do Word Wednesday as well. I will be back with you guys on Thursday for our Stock Talk, hot or not. We're going to look at the next thing I want to show you guys. And I'm going to let you know, is it hot or is it not? Should we skip it? Or should we take a closer look? All right. Thanks so much to everybody being on here. <laughs> Troy, thanks so much to everybody being on here. I always appreciate you taking the time. If you're joining us on the recordings, this is for you as well. If you're joining us live or you're on the recording and you're not following us, make sure you ring the bell, subscribe on YouTube. We will let you know when we are going live at any time. And on Facebook, if you just like us, then you will be notified there as well. Thank you guys so much for being on tonight, and I will see you on Thursday.